September 12th is Are You OK Day. It is a day where we draw importance to the everyday conversations surrounding mental health. Here we're going to talk about some tips, give you ideas about how to start a conversation and other things you can do to maintain that conversation all year long. At UQ we have conversations all the time with our friends, with our faculty members. One thing we might overlook sometimes is that we have to share and be trusted. Sometimes people can be hiding uh, mental health issues just below the surface. Perhaps they seem a little distant. Perhaps there's something just feels off. I think it's really important, especially if they're your friends, if they're close to you in any way, that you reach out. We're all a community here. We all matter. And I think it's super important that we learn to recognize how to tell when our friends are maybe not all right, how to uh, respond in a way that they feel that they can trust you. Establish mutual trust. People have to feel known and respected. They have to feel that you are giving something to. The first step of helping is to notice the changes. It might be difficult, but it's not impossible. And it's okay if you didn't get it right each time. It is easier to notice the changes in someone you know rather than in strangers. You might need to be a bit more attentive to their natural behavior just to avoid the misunderstanding. The easiest way to detect changes is through their spoken words or tone of voice. They might seem less chatty than usual or they might even a bit more emotional when they're talking. Another way to detect changes is through body language. We actually communicate more using body language than we do in words. However, it's not always obvious and may require you to be more observant. For example, they become more withdrawn and quiet, changing behavior or lost interest in something they love to do. You can also see these changes from their social media account as well. Making sure that someone is okay also means staying in touch and maintaining a genuine long-term friendship. So remember to check with your friends to see how they're going. Let them know that you've been thinking of them and ask them out for coffee, brunch or even to a boxing class. It is so important to focus on spending quality time together and really being present for them. At the same time, remember that it may take a while for someone to be ready to open up or to seek support. So after the Are You OK Day conversation, you, it's, you always question about what to do. And essentially, sometimes all that's needed is just to be there for that person. You know, everyone will recommend getting professional help and that's definitely important, but sometimes people are and they just need a friend. And that could be, you know, let's just hang out at uni and get a coffee together and catch up. Or on the weekend, let's take some time off, let's get in PJs, you know, watch our favorite Netflix show and eat our favorite food. Or I'm gonna drive to the beach today, we're gonna escape for a little bit and eat some food on the beach. It's those little things that make people realize that they've got people around them, that they've got people to support them and that they're, they're less alone. And going forward, that's how we continue this conversation and make people feel like they're supported. I really hope more people can ask if their friends are okay uh, and really direct them to services if they need the help. This Are You Okay Day? Trust the signs. Trust your gut. And ask, Are, are You, you okay? okay?